Hi friends, in this video let us solve a network theory related question on screen gate ECE 2014 paper. The question is, in the circuit shown in the figure, the angular frequency omega in radian per second at which Natan's equivalent impedance as seen from term terminal B B dash. So it is B B dash. B B dash is purely resistive is dash. Right? So we have to find angular frequency when when the not an equivalent impedance is purely resistive. Okay. So first we have to find R naught. Right. So and R naught is purely resistive, they told. At that time, what is the angular frequency? That's what they are asking. So not an impedance is nothing but okay, Z naught. Z naught, we know Z naught is equal to Z thermonin. How we will find Z thermonin? We remove the source. If you remove the voltage source, it will become short circuit. Then it will be one more. Then it is 0.5 Henry and this one, 1 Farad. Right? And they told Z naught on is or Z on is purely resistive. Right? Purely resistive means what? There is no imaginary part. So Z naught on has no imaginary part. That means when you get Z naught on value, equate imaginary part of Z naught on equal to zero. From this, we can find omega value. Fine. So that is the logic we are going to use to solve this problem. Okay, now we will see Z equivalent or Z naught on we will find. Z naught on is what this one. Z naught is nothing but Z thermin I told. So these two resistance impedance are parallel and it is in series with that. So Z naught on is equal to 1 into J 0.5 divided by 1 plus J 0.5 omega. Right? because you see it is 0.5 Henry only. So what is the thing? I will write it. So then it is 1 by J omega C is 1. So omega. what is the reason? It is J omega L. It is 1 by J omega C. So it is J omega 0.5. It is 1 by J omega C F. C is 1. So it is 1 by J. So I can these two are parallel. So 1 into J 0.5 divided by J 0.5 omega divided by 1 plus J 0.5 omega plus this is in series 1 plus J by omega 1 by J omega. So if you simplify what you get is take LCM and simplify it on okay this one right fine. So I take 0.5 outside let me simplify further sorry mm, point 0.5 I take outside means point 0.5 point 0.5 will be cancelled in numerator j omega will be there in denominator 2 plus j omega will be there it is 1 by j omega so this is z not done fine so if you simplify it is 2 plus j omega j omega so it is j omega into j omega plus 2 plus j omega right so simplify it what we get is 2 minus omega square plus j omega when you multiply this one what you get is minus omega square plus 2j omega right okay take minus outside it is omega square minus j 2j omega this will be omega square minus 2 minus j omega right z naught on i split the real and imaginary part so i can write this one denominator omega squared omega squared minus j2 omega right then i do omega plus j2 omega take complex conjugate and do all the manipulation after that what we get is omega power 4 divided by omega power 4 omega square i split real and imaginary part of the result 
o omega cube minus 4 omega omega power 4 4 omega squared in the starting state itself i told z naught is purely z naught and is purely resistive so imaginary part is zero because imaginary part is reactive part so i equate this part equal to zero so omega cube minus 4 omega divided by omega power 4 omega square is equal to zero this implies omega cube minus 4 omega equal to zero so omega i take outside omega squared minus 4 equal to zero this implies omega is equal to zero plus two minus two right omega zero we cannot take always and the omega frequency cannot be negative so frequency should be positive right omega zero why we are not taking if it is zero for any condition it will applicable so no normally we won't take zero so omega is equal to plus two radian per second so the answer is plus two radian per second is there okay two answer is two the omega in radian per second two radian per second thank you